look in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show If you're easily triggered, leave now Because this is not the show for you Now, what I'm going to be discussing With you today in this educational video Is how this whole thing of kissing modern women, black women in particular's ass has gotten out of control. Stop kissing ass. Now, we have a lot of content creators who make nothing but videos about kissing ass. So what I'm going to do is discuss that in this educational video. Panderers, people who pander to um, modernized black women with the hopes of making money or to sleep with them. So I'm going to have a man on here who do, who's going to discuss it. I'm going to have some women who's going to discuss it. I'm going to have um, leg, um, relationship or ex-relationship dating coaches um, who are women who retire from being a relationship coach because they got sick of the bullshit. I'm going to have them on here. So we're going to talk about this. Now, these clips are going to be used out of fair use. So let me go ahead and get started. And you let me know what you think about this in the comments, please. One second as I pull it up. Let's get down to it. A lot of these creators who say they are pro-black, pro-LGBTQ, or pro-black women are pandering. They are pandering for coin, or they are pandering for sex. Exactly. Y'all have a good night. Bye. Exactly. A lot of women don't understand because a lot of women are simple-minded, in my most humble opinion. They don't understand that men are telling them things that they should not be doing. They're telling them not to listen to a man, not to follow a man's direction, don't submit to his authority. All men are dogs, all men are controlling, all men are misogynistic and all these things to cater to them, to pander to them, to make them feel as if they should be um, considered to be deprived, to make them feel as if they should be on a pedestal, to make them feel damn near like they are goddesses themselves. They don't understand they are telling them this stuff so they can make money off of them. If I wanted to, if I wanted to be a, a panderer, I would have been way up there by now. But I don't want to be a panderer because a panderer is a um, really a snake. These men and these women who are lying to other women and telling them how to be separate from men. All these panderers are doing are teaching you how to not be happy, how to stay away from men, not to live productive, healthy lives. It just be miserable. That's all they're teaching you. And I'm going to go further into this. But before I go any further, let me say this. I personally believe, and y'all know that I am not a racist. If you've been watching my show for a period of time, you know I speak out against racism. I'm just going to say that for the new viewers who may be coming to this video. But I do believe this. If you're not a black man, if you're not a black woman, you have no damn business making any videos about anything that's going on in the black community. What do I mean by that? The type of content that I make, the type of content that Kevin Samuels made, the type of content that other um, creators who make the things who we expose shameful behavior the content creators who um make videos about why black men are having so much trouble with black women if you're not black you have no damn business jumping in that space i don't care if you're married to a black woman you have no business jumping into that space because you cannot relate to the black experience now as far as you saying i was raised around black folk all i know is black folk and all whatever ethnic group you are if you're not black you have no business jumping in our space you know why i say this because a lot of you are just culture vultures. That's all you are. A lot of you don't give a damn about our community. You don't want to support our community. All you want to do is sensationalize our community. Make a dollar off of our um, community. So what you do, you get up there. There's an Asian guy. And there's no disrespect to Asian people whatsoever. I have no issues with you. But there's an Asian guy that's been popping up on my um, YouTube. And the thing that I've noticed, ladies and gentlemen, he talks as if he's black. Black women shouldn't be doing this to black men. Black men are better than this. Black men are the kings and the black women shouldn't. Look how they treat them. You're not black. I don't care if you're married to a black man. Stay the hell out of that, of that part. Stay the hell out of the black manosphere. Okay? You can, If you're going to help, help. But don't step in our shoes to do what we're doing because you're not us. Just because somebody made you some Kool-Aid and a sweet potato pie doesn't mean you can get up here and start talking about our business. Okay? You're not helping. There's a difference, ladies and gentlemen, between pandering to black women and supporting the black community. I'm gonna put this on the screen for you. Pandering 
to black women for support and it's just not it's not a cute look and only because we could tell the difference most of us there's still some lost souls in the comments throwing their panties at these creators but for the overwhelming majority i feel like most black women are catching on to this marketing strategy if that's what you want to call it exactly pandering to black women kissing black women asses is a marketing strategy it's a it's a way to make money and to capitalize from their confusion from their pain from their hurts from their loneliness these type of content creators ain't nothing more but predators that's all they are they're apex predators to an extent they are just seeking for the most dysfunctional black woman the most hurt black woman and tell a thing that doesn't make sense but would make her feel good because they understand the psyche of a black woman all women they are emotional so they push buttons to elicit a uh, emotional response that is favorable to not only the woman but to those who are trying to pander to them all this does is keep the black community in shambles okay men like myself and other men who make uh, content like myself we expose shameful behavior and we critique it we judge it and we give our humble um analytical commentary with it because we are trying to show you what's wrong tell you what men want tell you the position of the woman the position of the man so we can try to mend mend the community trying to be a bridge to bring people together regardless of how harsh the delivery may be panderers just kiss your ass and suck your dick that's all they do and all you're doing is giving them money and you giving them support but when you're supporting them how many of their dollars are they spending in the black community what are they see i'm a mentor in um, houston texas at shape community center on live oak for those of you who are in h-town with me well what i do is i help at risk teenagers teenagers who are on community service for getting into trouble with the law and also there's adult people who get in trouble with the law that go to that place too and that dude's name who run the place is d lord parker who is a black activist in the black community i can actually say and i can give receipts as well that i do something so it's not just you giving me money here i'm talking about the these panderers who get up there and say the black woman need to do this the black man need to do this it's horrible how and then you are not of our ethnic group why the fuck are you in the black manosphere now this this is for everybody now everybody can come to my show of any ethnic group i'm not racist whatsoever i'm talking about you who are culture vultures who don't give a damn about us you just want to make a dollar off us just like you got certain ethnic groups who run beauty supply stores and you know what i'm talking about and all you do is sell black women weave sew-ins lace front wigs um eyelashes and fingernails and you don't look nothing like me and you you don't have no you don't want to spend your money in our communities you go back to your community and fix your roads fix fix your streets get a nice house get a nice car by profiting on the culture of black people a panderer is a culture vulture a panderer is a just a low down two-bit hustler that's all a panderer is. And a panderer could be a woman and it could be a man. Let's keep going. I feel like we've seen it in the music industry with white celebrities aligning themselves with black culture and a black aesthetic to kind of propel their careers. And I feel like some of these TikTok creators are like adopting that strategy, if that's what we're calling it. And I just love seeing all the black women who call them out in the comments like, mm, we're not feeling the pandering. We saw it with beads and that was a whole different conversation. But I recently saw it with like, a white male creator who tried to act like he like i guess was attracted to black women or whatever and then a lot of black women were calling him out in the comments like but you don't follow interact support date black women but you just it just feels like the love for black women from certain people on exactly what is funny with that now i believe in interracial uh, marriage there's nothing wrong with that you can marry a white man a, a white woman black woman mexican woman i don't give a damn about that at all but what I've noticed is that certain content creators, um, they are, and I'm not knocking them, but they're not really supporting the black community. And these are black people now. I'm talking, I'm talking about the other one. I'm talking about black men, black women who don't like black people, really. But they're using their platforms to try to instruct blem, um, black women into doing things, making, it my, making my job harder. You get what I'm saying? Don't care nothing about black folks. Don't like black people. Don't like. I'm talking about black people who don't black who don't like black people who don't like black men who don't like black women. But they get on there 
and make a platform so they can make money because they're profiting from confusion. Now, I'm going to tell you something. The most money you can make is in division. When there is a war, some of the most money made is when there's a time of war. When there's two sides who are in opposition to each other. The person in the middle who supplies the weapons and do all this other stuff, they make a killing. They make a ton of money because there's division. And you have content creators right now who's just jumping in, to, jumping on the bandwagon, bandwagon, excuse me, just to make money off the division between black men and black women. I need y'all to be aware of this. I need y'all to understand it. I always question. Like there, there was content creators who got on this lady show of a different ethnic group. She was caught saying racist things. And the same, and these are big time content creators. I'm talking about 200 thousand or five hundred thousand subscribers and all that jumping on her show this white lady then later on she said some racist things and can be proven to say that there's not like it's a rumor they show receipts of it and then she was also known for associating with a known racist person who actually is with the kkk the same black content creator then they want to distance themselves and say well i never knew i never knew i never knew you should have you should have known from the beginning you know why because you should always question why someone from a different ethnic group is so invested in your community when they don't even live there. They don't do nothing for the community, but all they do is expose what is going on in the community. Take accountability for your own actions there. You jumped on that because you thought that was the next, um, the hottest thing smoking. That's why you did that. So in a lot of ways, you're a sellout. If another person from a different ethnic group come in and start talking about our community, you're going to sell out because you want the dollar, you want the notoriety, nor notoriety, you want the notoriety, and you want the fame. You want to be the next, man. You want to be the next thing on top. You want the number one spot. You're a sellout. Now, I'm not saying not to work with people. I say work with them. I don't care what color they are. But if your agenda is just to profit off the suffering of black people, to profit off the tears of the black community, then you are not welcome here. You are a sellout. Let's keep going. Social media starts and ends with TikTok. It's like a trend. And I kind of feel like last time I checked, I need to check this and check the stats, but black people and specifically black women are the number one consumer in pretty much every single buying category. So if you're selling any kind of product, if you're selling whatever, even just selling the idea of yourself as a creator, aligning yourself with black people is probably the smart thing to do. But where it becomes a problem is when it's pandering and there's no real appreciation. You don't speak up against black issues. You don't, you're not surrounded by any black people. You don't show love to any black women except when it's getting views. And the white creator, the white male creator I mentioned before, there was a black woman in his comments who actually made a really good point and pointed out the fact that he was only interacting and liking comments from white women under a post that was supposedly about like, liking black women it was just super weird and i'm not saying that we need to be like going through people's follow lists and all that because it's not even that deep but i think that as black women specifically we need to know the difference between support and pandering and that's all very good point that she made right there like i said this is not a, a racist program that i'm making at all and i'm not picking out any particular ethnic group but i want the people who are listening even if you are from a different ethnic group i want you to question the motives of the people who are so heavily invested in the problems of any other community that is not their own. Why are they there? Do they stand to profit being there? Because I promise you, with my mouthpiece, if I wanted to make a show just about pandering to women, I would be up there. I really would be. A lot of people would. I think even um, the late great Kevin Samuel said it at one time. He said if he would have did the same thing, decided to pander to women, that he would have had even more followers than he did. Because you know why? People don't like the truth. People like to be lied to. And what I do, I'm from a different generation, not Generation X. I'm used to being direct and blunt to you. Where I grew up, when I grew up, you could be like that and there wasn't no offense. Now, if you're very direct and blunt, you're weird, you're hateful hearted, you're mean spirited, you're bashing. That's what you're going to hear for just being a real authentic person. I'm going to play two more things and we're going to get out of here. First, let me show you an example of a man, a gentleman from a different ethnic group pandering his ass pandering his ass off to black women let's get it pats on the back black women have shown me what it means to be a leader in the face of insurmountable odds black women have shown me what true strength coupled with love and gentleness means black women have helped to teach me what it means to pursue self-love black women have taught me how to love and raise my children in a way that i'll never forget 
Now you tell me where he meeting these black women at. I mean, I know there's some good black women out there, but you tell me where he meeting these at because he he damn near a perfect black woman. He talking about black women that taught him how to raise kids. You know how many black females we got out here who make it difficult for the baby dad to even be in their child's life? But you just happen to find, I'm telling you, these people be catering to y'all women. They don't give a fuck about you. They tell you everything you want to hear, and they're going to be some blackhead woman good up there talking about, hey, hey, I like what he say. He's on my side. I'm, let me cash up him $500. Let me send him a super chat for $3,000. Let me send him a direct deposit and wire him $1 million because he's, he, yeah, he's better than a black man. The black man will never say it. This is what this looks like. This is what this looks like. Black women have shown me more genuine, safe love than I have ever experienced from anyone else in my entire life. Black women have helped me grow more than anyone else in my life. Black women have taught me to choose silence in moments where my whiteness tells me to speak on things I know nothing about. I have learned from black women unbelievable amounts of knowledge and education regarding black history, black revolutionaries, black activists, black authors, black inventors, black excellence, black joy, and black culture. Black women have shown- Now you know that's some bullshit. The, the, the average black woman does not know black history. Other than what they see on TV or what they have heard about. I ain't talking about Martin Luther King and Malcolm X. Well, I am. Those are the ones they know. The things that are popular. You talking about who invented this back then, who made that back then. The average black woman don't know shit about that. This dude is just talking. Don't me that a strong voice can be communicated without word. Black women have taught me to take public correction when I have demonstrated oppressive ideals. Black women have taught me what it means to fearlessly confront white supremacy. Black women have shown me and taught me how to be an activist. Black women have taught me what it truly means to fight for equity, equality, and justice. All that ass kissing, just, mm -hmm, baby. Why don't you go and eat a booty too? Mm -hmm, just kiss that ass, bud. Kiss it, boy. Mm -hmm. That's all you're doing, kissing ass. Black women have shown me what wisdom coupled with straightforward truth means. Black women have not let me quit in life when I was at my lowest. Black women have shown me how to handle myself amidst conflict. Black women have taught me humility <laughs> and the necessity for active listening. Black women have shown me what it means to speak life when it seems there is no life to speak. Woo! Black women have taught me how to find peace in times of insufferable pain. Black women have taught me to sit down, shut up, and listen. Oh, Black shit. women have taught me how to be... Man, and it goes on and on and on, on to the break of dawn. This man gives a video of down there, 30 minutes of kissing what, um, black women ass, man. This is what I'm talking about, pander, pander, pandering, okay? This is what I'm trying to warn y'all about, man. These, he ain't nowhere in your community. Don't give a damn about you, but he's going to tell you all that good shit. If I was in this just for money, at the expense of telling the truth, I would pander to women because there's a lot more money in that. Now, she is not a penderer to women. That lady right there was just telling you that you, there's more money in kissing women ass. She's actually in the uh, on our side in the black manosphere. I can't remember her name, but she's not um, someone that I'm talking bad about. She's actually on our side. You know what I mean? She's just telling y'all that there's more money in lying to women and kissing their ass than it is telling them the truth. Now, what I'm about to do right now is play a video. This black man is going to make a very good point about pandering to women. And what I like about this video, there's going to be a whole lot of faces of people that he's talking about i think mr name was named Derek jackson they're gonna talk about him they're gonna talk about everybody he's gonna make some points you're gonna see a video i mean a picture of the guy so be paying attention it's, it's very i like it let's get it what's a scam that's become so normalized that we don't even realize it's a scam anymore pandering to black women so why do they pander to black women like this i'm, I'm gonna keep it up one thousand with you if you ever want to make a lot of money Join the dating industry and give women fluff. You can literally. In other words, join the dating industry and tell black men what they want to hear and you'll get paid for it. And give women fluff. You can literally be an abuser. You see the picture he put up there? Now, every time he's accused somebody of something or allegedly accused somebody, he's going to put a picture of what they're known for. He said a man who is an abuser and he put a picture of the man who is has been caught abusing women but yet still get on his platform and say you should love black women um black women you should not have to deal with this from the black man and these dumb ass bitches send him money and at the same time he whooping up on women but these dumb assholes are sending him money say that black men 
don't like black women but be married to a white woman. That's another picture. You can say black men are bums and they can't afford to feed their families and they're bumming off black women while simultaneously on this app begging for food, begging to support your family, all the while don't have a job yourself. That's the guy. Yeah, he definitely don't have a job. I see him a lot. You can even get on this app and lie and say you're in the schools talking to the teachers and black men are not in there. You can also be an abuser. A woman abuser. You can also be a child abuser. And all while making your content from jail. That's one of them. That's the dude who's a woman abuser, pedophile. Yeah. You can get on this app and say marriage is an enslaved contract and how you would never do it to a woman because they have so much hard and a difficult time getting out of those contracts. But you have no problem with making them baby mamas. I wonder are you going to tell your daughters that, that it's okay to be a baby mama and not a wife? That's another gentleman who lie like that. You can tell black women that men are all the problem, uh, how you got the answers to everything, all while selling all your merch, all your books, all your card games and stuff, and they'll buy it. Yeah, that's Jackson. Because black women don't care about your reality as long as you're kissing their ass. As long as you are telling them that everything's black man's fault, you cannot do no wrong in their book. And they'll justify your bullshit by saying, hey, support the message, not the deliverer. And all this is okay. Okay, if you pander to black women, if you accuse black men for every single thing in the world that's happening to them, they will ignore your reality. Kissing ass is a powerful thing. One last clip when we be out here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh yeah, I'll be doing a, I think I'm gonna do a live stream today. Y'all been asking me to do a, a week day one. So I'm gonna do one today about women who have too many bastard children. And we're gonna talk without deep into that. But this, I wanna show you the attitude that is created from kissing women ass through pandering with this lady right here. Then we'll be done. At this point, if you're not about to treat me like I'm the baddest bitch on planet earth, just step aside for somebody who will. Cause baby, there's a line behind you. you. You holding that shit up, you being rude. Yep, that's it. Yep, that kissing ass make a woman head big, big as the planet Saturn. All right, you let me know what you think about this ladies and gentlemen, about this pandering thing. It's a little bit different content right here for this, but it goes with my theme of my channel. But yeah, this is why we shouldn't be pandering to women. Don't ever, gentlemen, don't ever be kissing these women ass. There's no need to kiss no woman ass, man. Ever, ever, ever. You 